In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Triplite UPS power supply. This power supply is the Smart 1000 LCD. I've ordered two of them, and uh, they literally just came um, from uh, Canada Post. And um, let's do an unboxing. Now one thing to note, note about the Triplite um, 1000 LCD series is that uh, this particular model does not have an easy way to do a battery, do a battery replacement. Um, it's, not a, it's not an impossible thing to do, it's just an aftermarket warranty voided type of um, battery replacement if you do ch choose to do it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this box over. These UPS um, power supplies are fairly heavy, so just lifting off the box is going to be a lot easier. Okay, and these are them here. So I've ordered two of them as I mentioned. So this here is the battery um, backup. Um, it does have a really nice um, uh, design to it. It has an LCD that you can put this way, but you can also pop it out and rotate it and sit it this way so it can sit sideways like you can see here in this model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this one up and um, what you want to do is when you open it up, you want to, uh, before you use it, you want to charge it for at least 24 hours. So in my case, uh, right now it's a Friday at approximately 10.30 in the morning. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be unboxing both of these units, taking them and uh, basically plugging them in. Um, this evening, or maybe even, um, maybe even uh, uh, um, tomorrow, which is Saturday. This way, well, two things. One, I'm I'm uh, charging it for the entire weekend. Um, so when on Monday when I come in, I can I can test them out, make sure they work the the right right way. Um, number two is if I choose to do it at Friday at nine o'clock at the night or. On Saturday, I'm basically um, charged a lower rate when it comes to electricity. So, um, because they do have to have a full 24 hour at least um, of battery charging, I figure I might as well use that uh, use that uh, discounted rate time when I'm doing that. So, let's go ahead and pull these out. So, what you have in the box is the Powerful ideas. It looks like a manual. Yeah, it's a it's an owner's manual. Comes in that little plastic baggie. Then you have a uh, a USB cable. This is to be plugged into your um, into your uh, computer. Then you have uh, a telephone line or a telephone cable. This is what you plug into your telephone line, so it gives it continuous power to your um, to your uh, telephones. In case there is a blackout or whatever it might be. And then inside of the baggie, is the triplet power supply. So this is the unit here. This is just a decal, it's not actually turned on. But uh, what I was referring to was you can, hopefully, you can do that with this model. Um, there we go. So this is the panel here that you can pull off. As you can tell, it's a bit a bit hard to pull off. So you can mount it like this, or you can turn it and you can mount it like this, and just push it in. And then you can put it sideways if you wanted to. So this is the uh, the Trip Light 1000. I'm just going to put that back in there. 
So on the back side, I'll show you what you have here. So you have one bank over here of four, um, surge and noise protection. So this is not battery backup, but this is just the surge protection. It has three fairly close um, uh, um, plugs, and then one a little further for those larger adapters. On the other side, you have four surge noise uh, protection as well as battery backup, and you have four of those identical configuration. You have three close and one a little further. Aside from that, you have a fairly lengthy cable. This is a three-prong cable, as you would expect. You have the telephone ports. You have the telephone ports over here. You have the coax um, for in and out, and then you have the USB cable that plugs into there. <clears throat> it does have um, some feet here on the bottom. On either side of the unit, there is no kind of ventilation. So it's just the back here that has the ventilation. Fairly small one on the bottom, a fairly, well, well not fairly large, but a, a, a larger on the top. Um, aside from that, as I said before, the front only features the uh, LCD display and then it has the um, logo inscribed in there. And it looks like this unit's already scratched for some reason. So uh, that concludes this video of the Triplight 1000 LCD. If you have any questions or comments about it, please do post it. I'll be glad to answer any questions. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.